Let's do a couple sampling examples. So the officials of the NFL want to know how the players feel about some proposed changes to NFL rules. They decide to ask a sample of about 100 players. Let's classify each sample. In Part A, the officials choose the first 100 players to volunteer their options. So pause this and see if you have an answer. If you're choosing the first 100 players who volunteer, that's a self-selected sample. Part B, the officials randomly choose three players from each of the 32 teams in the NFL. This is going to be a stratified sample. You are, um, you are grouping your players into teams and then choosing three from every team. Finally, the officials have a computer generate a list of 100 players from a database that includes all the players in the NFL. This is going to be an example of a random sample. Let's do one more check for understanding. The editor of a snowboarding magazine wants to know if the readers wants to know the readers' favorite places to ride. The latest issue of the magazine included a survey and 238 readers completed and returned the survey. So what's the population here? The population is going to be all the readers of the magazine. He wants to know what all the readers think. So then what's the sample? The sample is going to be the 238 readers who completed and returned the survey. And finally, classify the sample. What kind of sampling method was this? Well, this was a self-selected sample. You were asking people to volunteer their answers.